guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Episode 3 of Season 5 of Riverdale, Chapter 79, Graduation. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. With that said, Here's my review of Episode 3 of Season 5 of Riverdale, Chapter 79, Graduation. I agreed with Jughead when he told Betty that they might have survived living in Riverdale, but will the next generation survive, since the next generation is used to the darkness in the town. And it was also really emotional when Archie had the dream with Fred saying that he can't believe he lived to see Archie graduate, since sadly, he didn't. It was really emotional to see all the flashbacks in this episode, but I also really loved seeing all of the old scenes because it showed how much time had passed, how much things had changed, and what everyone had gone through. I did feel sorry for Alice when she was crying about her Thanksgiving plans being ruined, but I also really loved how Betty said that she will still be there for Alice on Thanksgiving, and also whenever Alice needed her. Betty and Alice have been through a lot together, so it was really nice to see Betty be there for her mom. I felt really sorry for Archie when he was told that he wouldn't be graduating and he would have to retake his senior year, but I was glad that he was allowed to walk with everyone. I also didn't like that he lied to Jughead and told him that he would have to go to summer school instead of retaking his senior year, but he clearly didn't want anyone to know. Even though they didn't get back together, I really liked that Archie and Veronica spent the night together. Even though they broke up, you could tell that they still cared about each other, but knew that they couldn't be together because of what happened with Betty and Archie. I really loved Betty's valedictorian speech, and what she said was true. Their class has been through a lot of violence, but I did love that she told the younger generation to stay young as long as they can. And I know it's a TV show, but I still couldn't help but feel proud of everyone when they got their diplomas. And when Cheryl got hers, all I could think was, of course she would wear red. It was pretty funny when Penelope told Cheryl that she was going to turn herself in for some of her crimes, especially when she said that Hiram had promised to treat her well in his private prison. But it is Penelope, so it's not really a surprise. Even though it had been announced that Skeet Ulrich was leaving the show, it was still really sad to see FP say goodbye to Alice, Betty, and Jughead, but it made sense that he wanted to take Jellybean out of Riverdale. Yes, I know it was awkward that Betty and Jughead were dating while their parents were dating, but I still really loved Alice and FP together, so it was really sad to see them say goodbye. But since FP is still alive, I would assume it's always possible that Skeet could guest star. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. It was really nice to see everyone put their things in the time capsule, but it was also really emotional. I did like what everyone put in the time capsule, but when Jughead put his beanie in, I couldn't help but think that it was the end of an error. It was really sad when Cheryl told Tony that she wasn't going to go to college with her, but I like that Cheryl's going to try and improve the Blossom name and fix the town. And even though they didn't say it, it was clear that Cheryl and Tony broke up, which was really sad. But I hope that in the time jump, they get back together. 
I knew that Jughead would find out about Betty and Archie, and he was obviously upset about it, but it was a surprise that they didn't break up right away like Veronica and Archie did, even though they did end up breaking up before Betty left, even though they told each other that they still loved each other. It was also weird because Roberto, who's the creator of the show, said that Jughead and Veronica would find out about Betty and Archie in different ways, but Archie told Veronica and Betty told Jughead. I guess the only difference would be the reason they told them and their reactions? I understood why Veronica was upset when Archie told her, Betty, and Jughead that he was joining the army, but I was really happy that Veronica, Betty, and Jughead got to say goodbye to Archie, and that Archie and Veronica told each other that they love each other. However, when Archie first told them that he was joining the army, and Veronica asked him if he knew there was a war going on, and Archie said he did, I just thought, uh, hang on, I was not aware of that, but okay. It was really sad that the core four broke apart after Archie left, and it was also really sad that Jughead was the only one who showed up to their planned one year later meetup at Pops. I guess Jughead didn't contact any of them in that time and just assumed they would be there. I'm really excited to see what happens seven years later. Now, before we see what happens in the seven year time jump, there is something that I want to talk about. I know that everyone has their own opinions about the relationships on this show. For example, I love Alice and FP together, I love Cheryl and Tony together, and I also love Betty and Jughead together, and Veronica and Archie together. But I have no problem with anyone who wants Betty and Archie to be together. We all have a right to want who we want together on this show. And I did hear that supposedly Betty and Archie will get together in the time jump. And if that happens, I'm happy for you guys. Whatever happens in the relationships in the future of this show, let's all just keep enjoying the show because based on the promo for next week, whatever happens, it looks like it's going to be interesting. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw the episode, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to see any of my previous Riverdale videos, check out the playlist. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!